Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you guys um, from Candles by Victoria. So I've never, I mean I've heard of it, but I've never ordered anything before and I don't know. Like I have Bath & Body Works candles burning now and I got a bunch of candles from TJ Maxx and some of them are just hit and miss and <coughs> I just wanted something that would be reliable and something new to try so I was like hey you know I've heard a lot about candles by Victoria I should check it out so I did and I've never ever done anything with like candle like wax melts like that kind of thing so I was like I'm gonna try it just because I don't have a flame and I don't know it just sounds interesting to me so I went onto the website and I first the first thing I got is a actual like, candle warmer and this is what it looks like here. So it's just kind of like a flat surface um, and you plug it in and it warms up. It doesn't come with like something that you actually put on there to put your candle or your wax in. So you need like a dish or you know something to put on top of this for it to warm it up. But like also if you're at the bottom of a candle you know and you just have this much left but it doesn't burn anymore you can stick that on top of here and it'll keep, it'll warm up the candle so the scent goes everywhere but it doesn't actually burn it down anymore. So. Um, I just bought this off the website because I was like, you know what, I'll just order it. It's fine. But you can also use, I mean, you can find these anywhere. But I've also heard people say that they use um, coffee cup warmers. Or like you could use this as a coffee cup warmer. I'm not sure which one's like, you know, more effective price-wise. But anyway, so I got that. And um, in case if you're wondering on her website, the hot plate only was $10.50. So I thought that wasn't bad. Um, <coughs> and then when it came to the wax... I had no idea what to do, so I looked on her website, she has 950 cents, 950 cents, like what am I, I don't know, like I'm a newbie, so I decided since I'm going the wax melt way, she had a variety pack, um, and I was like, I'm just going to do that, so I got the 20 pack, I actually got sent 21, so I don't know if I accidentally got another one, or if it's for 21, or if maybe they just threw in another one, I don't know, but <clears throat> I got 21 um, they're called scent shots, so they look like this. There are two ounces of different scents, which I think is really awesome. I don't really know, like, how much to put in, like, I think I'm just going to put, like, maybe, like, a fourth or a half in um, at a time. Um, <clears throat> tells you only melt enough for a half inch of product in the melter, so I'm assuming that's not all of this. But anyway, I got 20 of these, and these are, like, good size in my opinion anyway. So I um, did that, and it came out, just in case you're wondering, it was $32.50 for the 20-pack. So I was thinking about it, I was like, that's kind of like a lot, but then I was like, you know, I'm getting 20 different scents. Like, if I wanted to get 20 different candles, that'd be so much more. So I just went with it. And we'll see how it goes. So I thought I would um, share with you guys the 20 that I got sent. It's completely random, so I had no choice in this. They just sent it to me. So I thought it would be fun to share them with you. Um, so, yeah, let's just go through them. So first one, Strawberry Marshmallow Fluff is the pink. Oh, that smells nice. It's um, it's just like a light strawberry scent. It's not too overpowering. I'm sure that's because there's um, marshmallows in there. This is chai tea, which is nice. It just smells like chai tea. Honey Bee is yellow. Um, it kind of just smells like honey, but a little bit of lemon, I want to say. Like something citrusy in there. This one is Mistletoe. It just smells like kind of like Christmassy, you know. Um, Pink Sugar Pina Colada, which is I really like this color. It's kind of like a coral. Oh, that smells nice. It just smells like a pina colada, kind of that like coconut tropical. Okay, this is Snuggle Baby. This just smells like, um, kind of like laundry detergent, but like a specific, I'm going to have to come back to that one because I can't, it smells like something, but I don't know what. Angelina is a darker blue. I don't even know what that one smells like. I mean, it smells fine. I like it, but I don't even, it's kind of more musky, I guess. This is pearl, or I'm sorry, pear and caramel. That just smells more like caramel than pear to me. Um, frankincense and myrrh. Yeah, just a kind of herbaly scent. Um, witch's brew, that's cute. It's like Halloween-y. It just kind of smells like spicy, um, like cinnamon. This is salted caramel apple crumble crumb cake. Salted caramel apple crumb cake. Oh, that smells good. That smells like um, like coffee cake. 
And this one is honey cinnamon. Oh, that doesn't even smell like honey or cinnamon to me. I don't, that's kind of weird. Okay, this purple one is Bella Swan. It just smells kind of like fruity. And this one is Deep Mountain Maple. Again, that one doesn't, I mean, it smells like a hint of maple, like syrup, but not too bad. And then this one is Black Cherry. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Black Cherry. I'm not the biggest cherry fan. So I might be giving that one away. The bubbles make me loopy. <laughs> what? Oh, it smells like, um, like soap and like citrus. I don't even know. Asian pear and lily. Oh, that smells nice. It's more of a fresh scent. <clears throat> um, Eternity for Men by Calvin Klein. Oh my God. It smells like straight up man. <laughs> I like it. And then last three are Christmas Cranberry Cider. Um, I can smell like the cider first and then the cranberry after, which I kind of like. This is spiced vanilla. This one kind of smells like a um, hot tamale. <laughs> and then a little bit of vanilla. And then grape soda is the last one. Oh, it smells really good. It smells straight up grape soda. So I, I hadn't smelled these until now, but I thought I would share. I thought this was a nice, like way to get into it so I mean <clears throat> I don't know from what I understand that her candles are all handmade that they all are you know like great ingredients um, and nothing is like artificial or really like bad it's also I believe cruelty free so like it's better for me to buy her stuff than like Bath and Body Works or any other kind of candles so anyway I thought I would just share that and I don't know if you have any tips or tricks or have any scents that you love from um, this brand let me know so I can put on my list for next time but I'm pretty sure that these will last me a long time um, but I will be featuring these as I use them up in my empties so stay tuned for that you know like as I go through a whole one of these I'll put it in my empties so I can talk about it how the specific scent was for the throw all that good stuff so anyway that is everything I have to share with you guys tonight I just got this in the mail I was gone this weekend um, but I came home and that was sitting on my like French step so I thought I would just share it with you guys um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video